Once again, marching in. How do they take this fight? EG will try. And oh. Sumail! He got off five, but where's the follow? Do they have it? Do they have the damage? It seems they might! Finally a stun, but EG hanging on a hope and a prayer keeps them in the game. At least for now. Five? Man, electric vortex! That was insane from Tumail. Found the opening and keeps EG in the game, LD. And not just that, they won more. They're gonna find NB2. Chasing him out, there is a buyback. He limps towards the arcane rune. Blinding light there. SG will go inside the pit. They're looking at Roshan. So man, the five man coil with the coach will lock him in for the door. Doesn't work. SG, they've lost three. This could be a disaster in the pit. They've lost four. He will go down. Lena's coming back to help out, but now she reveals her position. She bought back to be involved in this EG. Revives. He's EG. What are they looking he's for? The initiation comes out on a fear. Refresher activated by Old Eleven. Not going to get the chance for a second. Tribal Roar. He's going to get pulled up inside the corner sphere. He's down and out. Evil Geniuses still five up, but here comes that Omni Slash. Bouncing around with the Shadow Demon. Hoping to be able to go on a dive. But And he's trying to get PPD, but Evil Genius is full comp collected. They're holding up the vent here again. And they kick it here. Evil Genius is five now. One five back in the gold in the world. It's gonna change here as EG are set up for this. But do they think it's just a one man pick off? The rest of Evil are around. So they'll made a big jump straight for the background. Lion will be able to take him out. He's running low on mana. The rest of Evil are popping their BKBs and will be able to lock down PPD. Does have that Glimmer King to help him survive a little bit longer. CTY is actually looking for more kills. Chain Frost does quite some havoc to uh, e home In the end, it's a one for one trade off. They're going to re engage with uh, CTY. BKB, BKB though. Pop by CTY, and Samael is actually running low on men. They're going to try and make a commitment for him. IJ, they just turn on to Samael. He's got a lot of armor things that she will be able to get the kill. The Bloodseeker now turns for RTK. There's the epicenter. Wiping out the rest of e home and they don't Samael even drop Samael. What a bait from the kid! Show your face a little bit too far, you get caught out. And bottom lane, Sumail. Got silence, stun. Ah, have they laid a nice little trap for him? He's pretty tanky though, Sumail. Fairly high level, but Toxa <gasps> getting enraged with the static storm. No, Sumail making it out the same oh. straight. Gonna find him, he face shifts again, dodges the Yules. boulder smash. Can he escape the back? Face Timed shift. well. Face shift. Does he make it? He's still trying this fairy dragon. Blinking to the south, orbit as well, but they got the fish on him. Is it enough? <laughs> TP, Sumail, come on, you gotta be kidding me. They still can't cage. We're in the uh, Observer Ward, so they saw all of MVP move up here. And that's why PPD and Fear are holding back a long way. Owie, okay, disruption, catcher, Fear. Gonna go with the Lucent Beam, and then with the save. Bristleback slow, and in comes Sumail. Ball lightning down, he'll take it to Bristleback. Need to jump again, March, there's no Fissure about the joint thrown out. Femi comes the entire Eclipse. Sumail will go into March, the double kill for Sumail. Nuts on the retreat back behind the tower. The Soul Ring pops again, so Nuts in front of he him. Hasn't lost Soul running region. around, and now he's gonna go down. He just ran a burst perfectly. As you said, regeneration rune was fueling the fire of the Soul Spirit. And, I mean, what do you have to say about that fight so far? And he's actually going bottom for this Q yeah, Q and so he's hard. actually gonna get sipped in from the top. Oh! <laughs> We're playing Lawnmower Storm Spirit, and that's actually after, like, we can give props to the Ember Spirit. The reason why he was so low is because he managed to solo kill the Axe. It's like 14 minutes is considered really quick. The fact that he added a 50 with MVP, the Soul you don't want to do this. Even with that double damage rune over in QR, you do not want to fight into EG when they're going to fish up. Maybe if you can do that, they break the Aegis already. The start of this searing chains dropping Axe quite low, and Febby lights up the ultimate! That's a big, this. big kill! Moving down further into PPD, Fear, he has a clip, but does he really want to do this? Now he does! QR has jumped up, Universe goes for the dunk too early! Samael is brought back, he's TPing in, they want to try and get some counter kills, and there's your jump in! Orchid over on the Earth Shaker, no Echo Slam, he's gonna pop from this! Same with Nuts and Storm Spirit, dragging Febby up, and leaving him stranded on the hill! Great buyback!
He was able to back off. Ice Blast was short cooldown. The hex. Oh, the oh, Ravage. Oh, the Ravage. The ball. Is this it? No, buyback's coming. They're hitting it. They're hitting it. But the Glyph is there. Glyph is there. We reach down. down. I think the throne's just going to explode. Oh, they have to. They, they didn't win yet. He doesn't have to go and defend because he can always ha haunt in should there be a fight. But they actually get the stun initiation on their spot. Ball of stun as well. Storm goes falling in. Here comes Arteezy with the horn. He's looking for some initial kills. The Wukong's command does come out though. And Thompson with a BKB as a Seb on the Mirana. These BKBs may be too much for EG to handle. They kill off both Spectre and Nyx, but they lose a couple supports in the process. But just supports as Sumel gets stunned at the sideline. He needs to fall out. He's going to go for the kill first. He dodges the arrow with the ball forward. Seb thought he had him, but he got baited. It's going to be a team one. That Darkness counter about to reset. And now it is night. Nice. And they hunt. Jumping forward, but a beautiful Cogs by MSS prevents the universe initiation. Pussy in the back, he's out of mana, they don't have a duel for this fight. NPC's opportunity rushing in. Fought it there as well. There's the chains. No follow-up just yet. The blinding light is gonna force EG back Down. with no mana on the Soul! Oh, it's it's done it! Oh, it's done it! Stills the Aegis, takes it away from the clutches of NP! Expecting him making the move on top now, they're gonna find Arteezy, can they finish him off? G gets off the stun, there's your Surge into Dragon Zone, very potent combo. Something we've seen a lot from BG Gaming as well. G gets it done with the free fire, they've got another Surge and three, they could consider diving for this, but you have to be worried about potential rotations coming in to get the stun off now, the double TP. TP slowly lumbering forward on the Crystal Maiden, but G's taking it from Lightyear, can they bring him down? There's the Shackle too, kept the light by the Corner Grace, but the Dragon Dragon's dropping low, Bobo starts to disengage, G goes in, he does not manage to finish the domino, FNG, no boots up yet, at the same time, Universe F so low, Sumail going to work with Focus Fire, from bring down the edge of and there's the swap forward from Illidan, and they return fire as Lil charges forward, a double TP again, it's up four TPs out of the top lane, EG, no, the shackle, denying for the throw, they've overextended, it's gonna be Lil next here, four heroes, go down like a house of cards, Sumail, Struts all over their corpses. From top, they're heading towards mid, and the beeline pattern of Evil Genius is keeping is going to be first. Still no poison touch. It's fine, it's build. Good little wrap. Look for the position backstab. He's going to be position coming in real case. Not there, but the damage is going to be the worst curse on the bone seven. They're not going to shake the damage. Go to Glass, going to go in for the slam on the mid the universe. Nobody's dead just yet. Now the only comes out. Sonic Wave, Sumail gets the triple. Immediately thereafter, Envy rotates, but it's slow. On the other side of things, Fear, and Sumail securing the ultra kill, and now Envy is alone. Oh my god, it's all going awry. Cloud Nine, what just happened? Rampage. If Secret choose to go for this, they need to do exactly this. Weeha alone hitting the tower. There's a jump, Raw, Weeha, Omni, Flash, is he gonna go down in time? He actually found Omni! A time lamping! Omni! Okay. Sumail kills, he's gonna grab the right kill! The right kill is still! The RP down, Tamba, and a time lamping! He's back to fight for now, Sumail! How much more have they got misery? He's going down quick, and a triple kill for Sumail! And MV, he will take not only your rapier, but he will take your life, and he'll probably even take your freedom. And everyone gone for Secret, five heroes, down and with the rapier lost Knight, who's gonna get the jump here the dragon knight starts it off they get off the ice blast it's on universe but in return arteezy will quickly get the dunk bringing down the enchant version after he's unloaded and then ppd gets a beautiful ultimate oh the timber with the punish coming in massive aoe damage cheeky and aggressive trying to turn this fight but they've lost four it might well be five aggressive no more remnants no way out no surrender eg clean up c deck and they make it look easy after that curse. That was the perfect initiation by EG. Their captain had such a good winner's curve. Finds his own target, it's S4. Send him up. The missed timing though. Seb jumps in, Crit instantly silences him. Seb, what have you got with the soul by looking for the stun? Anna, looking for his own quad of damage, S4. And Anna can't attack in first up. One more attack will do it. Anna's able to get down and then jump over for a double kill into play. Rolling ball to Rip. On the stun! Jump away from the sub-electric race, still holds true. 
pretty slow, isn't it? Yep. I know. Oh, he's oh, 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 in! The full mode who's so can they do it? The ball's coming out for Jarek! S4 crit! They're getting low, they've lost two easy S4! Trying to run away, but he can't escape! The five gonna come out straight away here from Crit! Sabel, RTG still alive for now, Anna getting tossed up, tossed back! Sabel! He's gonna stay alive for Seb! Back in with a who's on Sabel, managed to pick up an ultra kill before he went down! But all that sped up incredibly fast there around the pit! That's nuts. All right, well, Ace, uh, the plus side of this is that it's hard to really, uh, you know, capitalize. How much damage that is this early? Roar, is he just dead? Chase forward, he gets a huge cleave there on a PBD hidden on the route. Tried oh, to Manta dodge it, it's not gonna happen. They find another kill. Like, this Jug should be the stupidly fat guy. He's got like 8K net worth, that's okay at this point in the game. He's got a Manta, he's feeling good about his game. But the just have the confidence to keep on going with that fresh Satanic. Shiki Dragonfall not gets us an overrun fear. They're moving forward with a hook shot. They're the eyes blast! And don't see that! They keep the battle going! So now might be low on mana. We need to keep controlling fear CDC. If they want to try and win this game, the fear finds more. He's has to be trapped up the curse, holding him here for now. DK will fight back in the drag. He the clockwork with a vision starter. CDC are running out of heroes, aggressive. Wants to come out and find some kind of collateral kills. But EG are turning tail and running for now. Universe is ready to turn. He's got Echo to slam up. He just sees his bling. They're going to come back. I've caught out the Crescent. The call down. The perfect position. That's your Echo slam. Aggressive. Locked in position right now. He got embraced up by the window. Wyvern, but fear moving forward as well. The DK about.